So today we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly related to peanuts and peanut butter. So what would you like to know about first? The good or the bad or the ugly? The ugly? Okay, let's start there. Well, first thing you need to know is that a peanut is not an actual nut. It's not a tree nut. It's a legume that actually grows in the soil. Okay? So let's start off with the shell. The shell of the nut is actually soft and it can easily absorb things in the soil, like chemicals, because the peanut is one of the most heavily sprayed crops out there. And I'm talking about pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides that actually get into the soil and that nut just pulls it right in. Now, peanuts generally are not GMO, okay, genetically modified. However, the peanut crop is rotated with the cotton crop, which is GMO. So guess what? You're getting the glyphosate, which is the main chemical, Roundup Ready, that actually is used in spraying the weeds. You're getting it in the soil, so it's going right into the peanuts. And when you look at when glyphosate, which is the herbicide, Roundup Ready, was introduced in the environment, you'll see a day coincidence spike and peanut allergies. I just wonder if there's a connection between the allergies that people are getting and the chemicals in the food. What do you think? Put, it, put your comment down below. I wanna know what you think about that. But there was a spike of 400% more allergies when glyphosate was introduced. Also, peanut butter batches were tested. I'll put the link down below. And they showed traces of glyphosate. So that's the ugly, all right? Now let's go to the bad. There's something called aflatoxin. This is a toxin produced by a fungus that grows on peanuts and corn and soybean and other grains. So peanuts have much higher levels of a toxin called aflatoxin, which causes liver cancer. Also, many brands of peanut butter, when you buy them, are loaded with extra sugar, chemicals, hydrogenated oils. So definitely always read the label and make sure it doesn't have anything else in it except peanuts and maybe some sea salt. All right, that's the bad news. All right, let's switch to the good news. All right, there's a type of peanut butter out there called Valencia, which has the lowest amounts of aflatoxins. Okay, that's good, right? Also, when you buy organic peanut butter, you're getting less chemicals like pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, and fungicides. So if we combine the organic with Valencia peanut butter, you're getting less chemicals, especially the glyphosate, and you're getting less toxin from the mold. That's the good news. All right, more good news. When you roast the nut or you germinate the nut, which is soaking the nut overnight to release the uh, anti-nutrients and other factors that might create irritation with your digestive system, you increase the availability of the nutrients. So you can actually increase certain nutrients that were bound up because of some of these anti-nutrient uh, compounds. All right, here's some more good news. There's a substance called chlorophyll. This is the green stuff in the plant. It has very similar chemistry to our own blood, but it uses magnesium instead of iron. But chlorophyll has the capacity to lower this toxin, which comes from the fungus, okay, aflatoxin. And so if you consume some salad or something green or wheatgrass juice powder after you eat the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which I'm just kidding right now, you wouldn't want to do that. But if you're just doing nuts or peanut butter with something that has chlorophyll, you reduce this toxin. So that's good. The last good news is that peanuts in general are comparable in nutrition to other nuts. So they do have vitamin E, they have the B vitamins, they have phytonutrients, and they also have protein. Hey guys, and you know what? I'm really sorry that eating has to be this complex sometimes, but I just wanted to bring your awareness up of some of the barriers that you're running up against with the chemicals introduced into our food supply and also um, some of the, the fungus and the toxic effect of certain things. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you have my app yet, Dr. Berg app, it's totally free. You should download it. Okay, this is what it looks like. You click it, it gives you all sorts of great resources. I have all my YouTube videos on this app. 
Okay, and it's regularly um, uploading the most recent ones. All the YouTube videos are also converted to audio versions, okay? So you can use it when you're walking, exercising, driving your car. I have a mini course on there. I'll be putting additional courses. I have a lot of recipes on there, and this is new, and also PDF resources. So there's various downloads, PDFs that you can get as well. And if you wouldn't mind, after you download it, check it out. Give me your unbiased review and tell me how you like it. I want to know.